Hello, Aries. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. Appreciate you guys. Definitely thank you for all of your likes, all of your subscribes, my friends. Thank you for all of the blessings you pour out upon me. Thank you for all of your donations, my friends, and all of my Aries friends that have reached out for private readings. Thank you for all of that, my friends. Absolutely keep me very busy, and I appreciate all of it. These readings will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of February 2019. First half of the month, first through the 15th. These readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family. Got a lot going on in our world. I myself am going to be focusing on love. Huh? I love to read for love. We all know there's no possible way these can be for every Aries on the planet, huh? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and all that. So if these resonate with you, run with it, and if it don't, Throw it out. On hmm? my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Aries a lot, this could play out from your perspective and probably will. This is tarot. It's source. It's spirit. It's all that fun stuff. So let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, and all that wonderful giftings that we all have. And... Let's play tarot today. Aries has been shuffling your cards for a while. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, tarot, I love team. Aries is here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Aries see and hear what they need. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story. For Aries, highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aries. Cutting the deck. I will be playing with the Terra Illuminati deck today. Aries, the first card out is Five of Wands, the Tassel card. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's my tussle card. Everybody's swinging those wands of passion around at each other. You know, it's about arguing and bickering and fighting. Possible competition out there, huh, in the love arena. Let's take a look and see what crosses this, Aries. Four of Pentacles, that's Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Four of Pentacles talks with me about clinging on to somebody with your heart chakra and them being a little closed off, you know, uh, to, uh, to that. And uh, why? Because there may be competition in this arena right here. These old wands of passion. Aries definitely hanging on to somebody with their heart chakra here. And feeling that they may be a little closed off. Although I am feeling that Aries may be getting a little tired of this energy themselves. And may be closing themselves off to this energy of the old tussle. You know, let's see where this thread goes here, Aries. The five of wands and the four of pinnacles in the heartbeat of the spread. The base of the spread is... Two of Swords, you know, the land of limbo, more air energy. We have air, fire, and earth that Aries has been dealing with here. Two of Swords, that old land of indecision about what you're going to do with this person right here, Aries. It's uh, Four of Pentacles, somebody you've been hanging on to, but definitely, you know, uh, she's protecting her heart there. She has a decision to make about which way she's going to go. Aries may have somebody else in their world. Um, definitely shows that eclipsed moon up in the corner of this card. After an eclipse, that always talks with me. 
changes come, these eclipses uh, eclipse people in and out of our lives very suddenly. Uh, it shows the hair blowing back in that picture of the young lady. It talks to me about that the winds of change have begun to blow. In this situation in Aries' life, recent past, eight of swords, more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Uh, you know, this is that feeling of being trapped. It's all up in your head. She's not really trapped. The only, you know, truthfully, the only place where we really are trapped is in our thought process. That's what swords is about here. She could get out of those anytime she wants, Aries. She could back up on there and cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, get out of this itty bitty miry clay, and come back up here to the high vibration castle where she belongs. Definitely uh, all up in your head <clears throat> about possibly an earth sign right here. They may have fire in their chart as well. In the land of indecision about what you're going to do with them, feeling trapped in the situation, definitely got you all in the head, you know. Yeah, seven of swords. Man, look at all these swords. This is air energy right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, you know, rising, seven of swords. That's that old liar cheater. The old liar cheater coming up here crowning your spread, Aries. Definitely, definitely <laughs> all up in your head about a liar cheater. You know, one thing's for sure that when Seven of Swords shows up, you know, it's my little, they got their little jester suit on and they're having a good old time, but nobody else is. They got three swords slung over one shoulder, the old broken heart, two swords slung over the elder's shoulder. They're in the land of indecision about what they're going to do. And they are absolutely looking over their shoulder at those two swords that they left in the camp. This is somebody who comes running back and forth into Aries' life. Possibly an air, air energy. You know, and like I said with this card here, and especially crowning your spread, is that if you're dealing with a liar and a cheater, one thing's for sure, Aries. You're going to get lied to. Let's just make that clear right here. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you, and the indecision, there's really no indecision about what to do with this. You need to come out of this all up in your head, you know, and see things very clearly, my friend, right here. I don't see this person changing uh, so far. So far, this is absolutely the energy of where you're at at this particular point in time. Many of my Aries friends are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, that they've been holding on to with their heart chakra. The other person's definitely closed off. That's because the other person's playing around right here. Five of Wands, that is competition, and then being sneaky and sneaking back into Aries' life all the time, leaving Aries in this land of indecision about what they're going to do about this air sign right here. But like I said, the winds of change have already begun to blow. Let's see what's coming in. Immediate future. Here they come, prancing back in again. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the return of the sun, King. And this can talk with me, you know, about acclimates. With this right here, with what I'm looking at right here. <laughs> They're definitely coming back in to play with you one more time here, Aries. And uh, this is a card about, well, somebody that is possibly just seeking attention from you. They like to come in. They like you to stroke their little mane. And then as soon as they're done with that, there they go, back out the door again. They're gone. Yeah, six of wands is what I'm getting here. It, you know, it is a card of victory because of confidence within yourself. Absolutely. But I see it more of just this person showing back up because they like the attention that you give them, Aries. Let's see what else comes with this spread. Six of Pentacles. Yep. How Aries sees themselves. This is my card of reciprocity or lack thereof. 
It is a card of equal give and take. This is absolutely not equal give and take. Five of wands, seven of swords, eight of swords, all up in your head, feeling trapped here. Ain't no need to be trapped. You know what you do with this? You get on down the road. They need to bring in equal give and take for my Aries friends right here. I see that so very clearly, my son. And you know it too, Aries. I mean, if they're just coming in here looking for attention, Aries is like, oh, we're done with that. You need to show up <laughs> with some equal give and take here. Exterior influence on the top of this is the Wheel of Fortune. Ain't that interesting? Talks about karmic cycles going round and round and round in this situation. No doubt about that. Definitely learn some karmic lessons. I, this is just karmic from what I can see right here. Let's learn these lessons. Let's use this as a catalyst to shoot us into the direction that we're supposed to go in life. You could very well be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo are all represented by this Wheel of Fortune here. This is Jupiter. It is the planet of expansion and good luck. Let's believe for change coming in here, Aries. Reciprocity. I mean, people can change, but I'm telling you, I'm seeing that they just want some attention from you, and you know there needs to be equal give and take in this situation. The reason why they continue to come in, Aries, from what I can see right here, is because you're holding on to them with your heart chakra right here. Aries is believing for the world card. I'm happy for you. Aries is absolutely believing for a cycle change in this situation. Old, old cycles to end and new cycles to begin. Aries wants to see themselves slap up in the middle of their world, seeing their world as their oyster. And ooh la la, there's my pearl of great prize. Let's look at outcome right here. Six of Cups, they're definitely coming back in here for you, Aries, to play with you again. See the little boy? He's supposed to have flowers in his cups for the little girl. This ain't flowers. This ain't flowers over here. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Land of Indecision, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Aries knows that there needs to be equal reciprocity, equal give and take. Hey, Aries, if they're just coming in here for some attention from you, uh, you know, I, me, man, if somebody doesn't show up and, and, and they don't know how to love on you, right? Psst, who's got time for that? Just saying. See what's on the bottom of the deck here. Five of cups, the river of tears. You know, the old spilled cups. You got a, a cup spiller running around here, Aries. You know, it's supposed to turn around. It shows me that there's somebody special out there for you. And this is what the Wheel of Fortune can talk about, that a new cycle is coming in here for you. Possibly somebody new with that Six of Cups coming in. I, I feel that this person right here, whoever this air sign is right here, may have fire in their chart as well. Fire, earth, and air. That they are just coming back in for some attention from you. But... You know, Aries is believing for a cycle change to come in, and then bam, here comes Six of Cups, soulmate from the past. This card does show two cups on the back. Now, two cups always talk about that true love, you know. Uh, this is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Aries, do you know a water sign? Because that is not what is on here. This is air, fire, and earth. And here we got water water showing up for you i believe that this person's that you know on again off again you know them right there you know them they're absolutely going to come in here for you decide what you're going to do with them right now if they don't bring flowers you know enough is enough man enough of the cup spilling huh see it right here and um two of wands talks about Aries being at a crossroads. Yeah, there may be somebody else in Aries' world, huh? Yeah, focusing on that wand right there with the world up on top of it. Still have the other wand in the hand. I would suggest that there's somebody new that showed up in your life, Aries, that you let go of this right here with that heart chakra right there. Just let it go. To the best of your ability, let it go. 
Because it looks like the, the, uh, the universe wants to bring in something new and exciting for you at a crossroads right here. You know, let's get somebody with some reciprocity coming in here for you. And then on the bottom of the deck as well is the judgment card. See, Aries making a judgment call right here over the next couple weeks about what they're going to do with this lover right here. And possibly somebody new coming in here. I'm happy for you. Let's believe for this cycle change and, and the wheel to move for you, Aries. Whew, let's believe for this right here. Six of Wands talks about um, victory after the battle because of confidence within yourself. It's like a whole different world right here. The line from that Seven of Swords, you know, because there needs to be reciprocity. Letting it go, letting that cup spiller go. You really need to. I mean, he's still hanging on to it. You see it right there. But this talks about um, Phoenix from the Ashes. This definitely talks about uh, realizing the fact that you're creating your own reality from the inside out, that what you think, feel, and believe is what you're manifesting in life right here. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go forward. Let's go forward. Enough with all these uh, knuckleheads, huh? Let them go. 2018 was 2018. This is now 2019. Let's believe for some healers to come in here for all my light workers that watch my channel, huh? Enough of this energy right here. I want to see what Six of Cups is about. Let's throw a card on that. Six of Cups, please. Thank you very much. Five of Pentacles came out on that. This may be somebody from your past that feels left out in the cold. Seven of Cups. It could very well talk about the same person here. But, I mean, it does, it's Seven of Cups. And Aries could have a lot of options showing up here for you in the future. Once you clear this kind of energy, once you clear this kind of toxic energy out of your life, you will open up a new cycle for yourself. I wouldn't play with this person anymore. I just wouldn't. I don't like that energy. I don't like a liar myself, but that's just me. I don't like somebody that's got me all up in my head about what to do. I don't like somebody that's out running around with lots of competition. huh? Somebody that leaves me feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. There is somebody coming in here for you with Six of Cups. I can see that. And these are all amazing cards of reciprocity. You knowing what you want. Here's the return of somebody. This is the judgment card. You're making a judgment call. You're going to let go of one of these wands, I'm telling you. And this tells me, you know, that there's possibly a water sign coming in here for you. So what's on here, too. Seven of Cups is on top of six of cups for my Aries. You're gonna have options coming in here for you, Aries. I'm happy for that, happy for you. It could be a water sign. And uh, like I say, man, many of you need to let this air sign, fire, earth, go. You, they keep coming in because in my opinion, you're hanging on to them with your heart chakra. Mm -hmm. But why do we wanna hang on to toxicity? Let it go. It's, it's for the best, huh? Yeah, Empress energy on the bottom of the deck here. Taurus, Libra. This talks about new beginnings, new beginnings in abundance, and new beginnings in love coming in here for you. This Empress, she knows her worth, huh? She knows her worth. She's seated in her throne using law of attraction to attract into her love and abundance. Look at this. This is good, man. This is good. Huh? Maybe somebody that you know from the past right here. Coming back in, huh? Shows five of pentacles. That's the old soulmates. Two of them being left out in the cold. Seven of, pen seven of cups and six of cups. Talk with me about a soulmate from the past coming in sweet, nostalgic thoughts of when times were good and times were sweet and Aries having options for themselves right here coming in. And making that judgment call about what they're going to do. But during these two weeks right here, I absolutely see uh, Aries making a decision about what they're going to do about this person that just continuously comes in and out of their life. 
They want, Aries wants the world card. They want a cycle change right here. And can get it, and you can get it with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is on top of all this mess right here. Five of Wands and four of Pentacles. The wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. I see here somebody amazing coming in here for you in the very near future. Possibly a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Hey, uh, love team, let's throw out some cards on this for Aries, please. Thank you very much. I'd line up with the spread. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There you go. You're going to be talking with this person right here, and you need to tell this person what you want from them, what you're expecting from them. If it is this Seven of Swords person, you can clearly see it. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know about this old liar cheater right here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And if this is Seven of Cups and Six of Cups, same right there. You need to have clear communication with these. I feel you're dealing with a couple of people here. Or you will be. Maybe more than one. <laughs> Seven of Cups, right? The healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. I see it right here with the old liar cheater, huh? Forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is for us. It's not for them. If somebody's crossed us and done us wrong, they don't really give a fat rat's tail if we forgive them or not. And also, they don't know if we've forgiven them or not, huh? It's, forgiveness is for us. It's, it, it releases all that uh, toxic energy on the inside of you. That uh, absolutely leads to boatloads of uh, sickness and disease and depression and all of that. Yeah, and blame it on all kinds of things, but uh, that unforgiveness, it rots people's guts from the inside out. Release it. Let it go. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Reconciliation. I'm telling you, somebody's coming back in here for you. It looks like there may be two people showing up. Hmm? The toxic one and the new one, Six of Cups, that you're making a judgment call about. You definitely like this uh, fire, air, earth person. There's no doubt about it. You've probably been dealing with them for a while. Uh, that's why I keep seeing that uh, two of wands, you know, crossroads, not letting go of one of the wands. But reconciliation, get ready. Peeps are coming in here for you, Seven of Cups. Yeah. They're going to come in and take a look at Aries. I mean, who doesn't love Aries? They are fiery. They are passionate. They're exciting. Yeah, know that about you. You are amazing, Aries. Let's get the best. May the best one win right here. Religious factors. There you go right there. Six of Cups. It could very well be some kind of divine partner that's coming back in here for you. Religious factors talks about age differences, cultural differences, religious differences, spiritual differences, all those things that make it fun. Attraction talks about being in the moment, being in the moment, not focusing on the past and not focusing on the future, but being in the now, being appreciative of what is what is manifesting for you in this now? It's a, it's a nice story right here, but I absolutely see you need to release a toxic relationship. Ain't that right, Aries? Let it go. Let it go. The universe is going to try and bring you in something here amazing. Let it go. Let it go. So you're ready to let it go. You're letting that wand go. He knows what he wants. Knows what he wants. Knows what he wants. Tower. Shows the lovers falling from the tower, huh? Sudden change. Boom. Right there. And the power of the tower is to use that as a springboard. It levels the playing field. Many times we don't know what we do want. It, it's impossible for us to know what we do want until we know what we don't want. We need a basis for what we do want. Absolutely learned what you don't want right here, huh? Oh, Aries. Learned what you don't want right here. And use that as a springboard to set your intentions about where you want to go. Hmm? Where you want to go? <laughs> this is where we want to go. This is where we want to go. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet love. Hmm? Sweet, destined love. Yeah, let's go there. And you know, first we have to figure out that we don't want this over here. Use the power of the tower as a springboard, setting our intentions to spring us towards what we do want. Beautiful. All right. All right. All right. One more. Sun card showing up here. 
Uh, Leo has showed up here. This is Leo and see, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, I just... Shows the tower. Aries, you need to let something go. This is um, Mars. This is Aries. And this is Scorpio. And this is Leo. May mean something to you, may not. The other majors that I have on the board are... Well, the two... Um, World and the Wheel, they both talk about Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And uh, we got Scorpio right over there again. But see, what this clearly says to me is that when you release this toxic energy, the sun is going to come in here for you. I'm telling you, Six of Cups, it's right here. Looks like somebody wants to come and bring some flowers for you, but you need to clear this energy right here. Got something new and exciting coming in here for you, Aries, but you gotta release this energy for the sun to come in. Aries, I hope you got something out of this. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Aries. Bye for now.